guys. You ever really want cereal at 3 o'clock in the morning? Well, that's what I want right now, so let's go get some. Hmm, 3 a.m. cereal, Big Bang Theory, and a few minutes. It's gonna be bedtime. Excited for that. See you guys in about a minute. More like a second. Why would it be a minute? I'm dumb. Ugh. Hello there. So, yeah, I know I started this vlog off weird by starting at 3 in the morning, but that's okay. I'm up now. Well, I've been up for a while. It's already like 11.15. Yeah, yeah, 11.15. And I've um, been seeing all the comments in the latest vlog, and it seems like a lot of you guys actually liked the changes, so I guess I will continue to do this. It's not going to be an everyday thing like that. It's, it's still going to be the same old thing. Uh, usually when I have something good to do or something good to show you, but when there's a slow day or I don't have really anything exciting going on, that's where to do things like that and, you know, new topics, little segments, all that. So I'm glad you guys liked it and it worked out well, at least in my opinion. And that new intro is just a random one I made that was like a pre-done one of my editing program. So I'm just going to kind of play with those for a while until I get the time to sit down and play with After Effects for a good amount of time and make something original and new of my own. But, hope you liked a little change in that. And, so I'm waiting to pick up Lana. She gets out of school at 12.55 today or the release, so we're gonna hang out. So I will show you that when I go get her, and you'll see her again. So, I'm gonna chill for a while. There's nothing to do. I'm bored of the computer. I'm actually getting bored of the internet right now, because there's nothing. I'm all cut up on my YouTube subscriptions <laughs> for the first time in a while, and there's nothing new to watch. So, I'm going to see if there's anything worth spending my time on TV. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Only douchebags put their cart in the middle of the parking lot. <clears throat> hey there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you know you almost ran into that car. <laughs> you almost went... <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. Oh, dude, I thought she was going to back out into us. <laughs> like that old guy when he with me and Kevin Hart. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he looks so funny. Here's Andy. He looks funny. <laughs> We're going to Target to get a card for our friend. JJ! No, we're going to take a shake. Yay! More it's eating pretty. in the vlogs. Shut up. It's pretty out. <laughs> yeah. And we're cute. For once. Me. Hey, guys. We're going to shake. This is JJ. Birthday Happy birthday to JJ. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Oh my god, he does. Hey, Chris. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Actually, say hello. It's hello. not a picture. <laughs> I thought it would be. Um. Losers. <laughs> Colton looked. <laughs> we all know who was picked on in middle school. And answered to loser. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should know better. Important business. I'm going to see kick ass. Pushing 60. Ooh, that can. Don't tape that! You have to show everybody how awesome Jackie Chan looks with his stash. He looks weird. He looks awesome. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, we're about to go in to see kick ass. Should be fun. No, oh, go! What's up, ho? Look at that. Right Getting ready to see kick ass. Get ready to see kick ass. Yes, we are. It's JJ. Empty seat, empty seat. Dolphin man. Meet ghost man. Me. Bobby. And then. Every time I say your name, I want to say it like Hank Hill. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. Really? Well, that was a cute little future. What? Felon. I am a cute felon. felon. I'm pretty sure. That Stabbing bitches. <laughs> What happened? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Why are you- Hey, so, I got out of kick ass and I just had dropped a lot off home. The movie was awesome! And like everybody's been saying, because I know you guys have already seen a thousand people talk about this on YouTube, and probably all your friends who've seen it, uh, Hit Girl definitely steals the show. Um, but if you're not cool with cursing, then um, I don't recommend the movie. But, if you don't mind, it's hilarious, it's really good, and oh my god, here are the bikers taking up the road. Here we go, taking up the whole lane. The whole freaking lane. Uh, 
I get really annoyed with that. I just, I mean, I know whatever they're training or whatever, or they feel like biking, but it just gets really annoying, especially when you're going down a road and it's like a one lane road and you can't, you know, go around them because they're not going to go on the sidewalk and let you pass and be courteous. Oh, it drives me insane. Sorry for another road rage. But anyway, back to kick ass. The movie was great. I definitely recommend seeing it. It's, it's totally worth it. It was awesome. I haven't seen a movie in the theaters in a while now because we've just been so busy with other things that we usually just watch movies, you know, at my house, um, whenever they come out on DVD and things like that, but this was great and definitely worth it going to the movies, making that trip and going to see it. A lot of fun. We went with a bunch of friends. It was our friend JJ's birthday, so it was good and, you know, fun night, fun night. I had to go home a little early, uh, but we'll see her again on Saturday, Sunday for you guys, because... Um, anyway, I'm glad to see a lot of you guys like the changes, and um, I plan on implementing new random things every once in a while when things get a little slow. Soap. That is all for right now. I'm going to go home and probably have dinner and maybe rest a little bit before I have to work for the rest of the night. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I just bought tickets to a concert for June 19th. Me and Lana are going to go see... These Silver Sun pickups, if you know who they are, we love them. They're really cool, and I found the tickets on Ticketmaster. I thought it'd be a fun little outing, because it's the weekend right before she starts up her summer classes. So I thought it'd be a fun little part of her birthday gift, too. She knows about it, though, because I asked her to make sure she wanted to go. And, uh, it'll be a fun little going out thing before she starts up school again. So I think she'll enjoy that. Sorry about my loss of... Origin speed and blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, so today's random news story I found involves a site that probably a good portion of you are on Facebook and I am on as well. Basically, it's talking about the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, pretty much doesn't believe in the pos the um, idea of privacy online on Facebook, which is kind of makes sense. Um, they were talking about how, you know, Facebook has lately, if you know you're into Facebook, you've noticed they've been expanding and um, you can now connect almost every other website with Facebook and when you go on Pandora, even if you know what Pandora is, it'll pull recommendations for songs from what your friends like and talk about on their profile. So it's like spanning across everything across the internet, but, you know, it's, they have all your personal information stuff, but that's all things you put on there. So my beef with it is if you really have a problem with your personal information being out there, don't put it on there. They won't, they won't get it if you don't put it on there. If you don't want pictures of you drunk off your ass to be seen by your parents or relatives or your college, don't post them on Facebook. I mean, if you don't want, like your status updates about how you're drunk or how you're sleeping with three different people at the same time <laughs> to be posted on Facebook and spread across for everybody to see, don't post it on Facebook. Don't post it on anything. This has been a topic that just seems pretty common sense since like the days of MySpace when we all used that. Everybody was like, oh my god, they can see everything. They can see what you post on there, what you choose to share. That's the whole point of it. You choose to share things you know, then you're just putting yourself out there. And now it's talking about Facebook kind of has, you know, the, has been just giving their, all their users' information across as far as, you know, groups that you become a fan of or like now they changed or, you know, different things you put on your profile will relate to your likes, will spread across to other websites, government, you know, colleges look at Facebook. I know that for a fact colleges do look at your Facebook. Most colleges now, um, when I was applying for college, it will make you push your Facebook um, like URL, or if you have a Facebook on there, and even if you lie, they're still going to probably figure it out. It's really just knowing your first and your last name, which is right there in your application. So, I want to see what you guys think about this whole privacy thing on social media. Because if you're going to be into social media and really be into it and really, you know, get the full experience, there's no privacy what you put up there. You choose what you want to keep private by not putting it online. So, that was just my little rant about that for today. I think it's weird that people are so up in arms about it all. But that's my one story for today. Uh, I found this one, stumbled upon it. I actually wasn't planning on doing a story, but this one just seemed like it could start some good conversations. So tell me what you guys think, video responses, comments. Um, I love that uh, 
Big Vol Daddy, you made a response to my last video. Maybe you have an opinion on this. If you don't, it's okay. Um, and anybody else who has an opinion or wants to comment, just leave me comments and stuff. And, you know, if I really like what you say or if you're something, you really have something cool to say, I'm going to start mentioning it from video to video. I can't think of, everybody, of every, what everybody said for the last video, but I'm going to do it from now on. It's going to be a new thing. I'll start mentioning you guys who had really cool opinions or just really interesting outlooks on what I was talking about. And, you know, we'll just make this into a more interactive thing as we go along and as we change this. And so, that's all for me now. Um, getting ready to relax for a while and then work for the rest of the night. And edit this vlog and put it up for you tomorrow morning. So, I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later. Bye.